everyone, my name is Joelle and welcome to today's 10 minute slow yoga flow for fibromyalgia. I know that many of you have found my YouTube channel through previous fibromyalgia sequences and I've received many requests to create more of them. So I'm really excited to let you know that today's practice will be day one in a seven day series of yoga for fibromyalgia videos that I've created. I've worked really hard to put together a varied, accessible series for you. As you might know, I myself have been living with fibromyalgia for over 20 years now, and I have really found that what helped me live best with fibromyalgia is some form of gentle, regular exercise. And I'm hoping that by making a commitment to each other and to ourselves, that many of you will be interested in discovering the same benefits that I've found through my practice of yoga and movement. If you would like to join me on this seven-day journey, the full series is available for purchase by clicking the first link in the description box below this video. This course includes practices ranging from 10 to 15 to 20 to 30 minutes so that we can build up and prove to ourselves what we're capable of, or so that you can mix and match. It also includes a morning practice and an evening practice, two chair yoga practices, and one that is done completely on our backs. I've also included an ebook that breaks down each of the postures in all seven classes to help you better understand the benefit and alignments in identifying which postures feel best to you in your body. And if you'd like, if you finish the course, you can even get a certificate of achievement. If you have any questions on this seven day course, please go ahead and leave them in the comments below this video. And I would also really appreciate your help in spreading the word about this course. Perhaps if you have a friend who suffers from chronic pain or if you're a member of any fibromyalgia support groups, whether in your community or perhaps on Facebook or somewhere else online. And with that said, let's go ahead and start our day one practice. Hello everyone. My name is Joelle and welcome to day one of our seven day yoga for fibromyalgia series, which will be a 10 minute slow flow today. I'm going to begin sitting up on a pillow and you could do the same or just find any comfortable seat at all. Take some nice deep breaths, thanking yourself for arriving on the mat and committing to this week-long practice together. And we'll begin with some self-love, some hugs, opening the arms out to the side and exhaling, hugging one arm over the other. Inhale to open up again and exhale, and this time switch the cross of the arms. So just keep flowing through that motion at the pace of your own breath. Alternating which arm is on top, warming up through the upper spine. You can nod the head up and down with this motion. Just a way to kind of be grateful for being here, taking care of ourselves in this week together. And then we'll release that motion. Roll the shoulders out and gently tilt the head towards the right. And if you'd like to intensify this, you could add the weight of the right hand, just gently pulling the head just a little bit further. Maybe closing the eyes here, keeping the spine nice and tall. And then we'll help that head back to center and gently drop it over to the other side. So the left hand again can help the head a little bit further here. And throughout all of our practices this week, be mindful to send the breath into any area where you feel the stretch. So let's release that. And we'll warm up into our hands and wrists a little bit now as we make some wrist circles, grabbing the air with our finger in one direction. And then you can reverse that circle, still getting the fingers involved. Area that we use so much, but don't always spend a lot of time paying attention to. Beautiful. 
And let's just shake that out. And then we'll come off of our seat, finding ourselves onto hands and knees, shoulders above wrists, hips above knees. And we'll take just one cat cow here. So inhaling to arch the spine and look up and exhaling to round through the back. And then we'll come back to neutral spine. Very nice. And just start to take some hip circles towards the right. Just feeling into every nook and cranny of those hips, noticing how it's feeling today in your body. We'll have lots of variety throughout this entire week as we switch directions with our circle. So if any exercises feel particularly nice, I encourage you to take notes so you can come back to them and also be open to trying new things throughout this week to see what feels good to you in your body and in your mind as well. And then we can release that circle motion. We'll come back to hands and knees and just press the right heel back, straightening out through that right leg. Keeping a little bit of engagement through our abs as we stretch out the entire back of the right leg. Just a very gentle stretch here. And then we'll set that knee back down, maybe wag your tail from side to side a few times. And let's try stretching that left heel back now. So our motto for today's practice and for this week's practice really, will be that fibromyalgia is only a small part of who we are. It does not dictate what we can or cannot do. And that's what we're going to prove together. As we release that calf stretch, very nice. Shake it out if you'd like. And then let's tuck the toes under. And you could stay right here, pressing the floor away. Or if you'd like a little bit more, you could hover those knees just an inch or two off the mat. We're not here forever. Again, we're just experimenting, proving to ourselves what our body is capable of. And we can set that down, beautiful. Let's untuck the toes. And very gently, we'll start to walk the hands forward here, melting the forehead down, perhaps onto a pillow or in the direction of your yoga mat. This is an especially nice posture for those days when the body feels especially achy or the brain feels a little foggy, this melting heart pose. Just continue with your nice deep breaths, letting them fill and energize the body. And when you're ready, we'll start to gently walk the hands back finding ourselves back through hands and knees and then rolling down slowly onto our backs. Take your time getting here, settling in, planting both feet onto the mat. And once you've arrived, we'll start taking some gentle pelvis tilts. So engaging through the glutes to rock the pelvis up and then letting it go. And again, you could flow with your breath here. With every exhale, engaging through the glutes to lift the pelvis just about an inch and press the lower back into the mat and releasing with every inhale. Wonderful. And we can release that motion. We'll extend the left leg out onto the mat and pull the right knee towards the chest. 
and then over towards the left side. And if you do have a pillow handy, it might be nice to place it under that knee just to bring the floor a little bit closer to you. You might also extend through the right arm, perhaps turning the chin over the shoulder. I'm just enjoying this gentle twist. And then we'll come back through center, releasing hold of that knee, perhaps moving the pillow over to the other side if you are using one. And now the left knee can come towards the chest and then over towards the right. Twists are one of the most beneficial types of stretches for chronic pain conditions like fibromyalgia because they dissociate the upper body with the lower body and they give us a chance to notice how we're feeling in different areas of our body. So we'll be doing lots of really yummy twists this week. Wonderful. Let's come back through center again. Feel free to move any pillows or props out of the way. And planting the feet once more onto the mat. Let's just engage through the glutes again to lift them up into a bridge pose. Just holding here for a few breaths. If you'd like to take it further, you could even clasp the hands underneath the back. Lifting the hips one inch higher. Stay with me. You can do it. And then releasing slowly back down one vertebrae at a time. Really nice work. And let's just roll to the side now. We'll make our way back into a comfortable seat of your choice. Let's roll the shoulders back, sweep the arms up towards the sky, and bring them back down through prayer pose in front of the chest. Congratulations on getting through day one. Very well done. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day two, which will be a 10-minute chair yoga for fibromyalgia sequence. Until then, have a wonderful day. Thank you again. And namaste.